And on the spot, uh, CMC asked me what the group name was, and I just looked up and said headline, you know what I'm saying? And it, 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 it kind of stuck with us, you know what I'm saying? We made a joke about it, and then, like, you know I'm saying, people were feeling that shit, so we just... That's hot, though. Yeah. Headlines, you know yeah. Yeah, that's, that's good with it. So, uh... What do you think about about the scene in general out here in Arizona? Man, this, this is this, this is a brand new market. I think I, like I, I keep hearing different groups repping that. Before you were saying like I, like when I first came out here, everybody you were saying which would try to distance place. You were saying they, they, they would say that you saying nothing's cracking out here. And I'm like, they you were saying like I can't stand when, when, when motherfuckers come from you were saying like out of state and talk about you were saying our city's black. But now I think everybody's trying to step up. When I was on tour, you were saying with D12 and shit, they um. Everybody asked me where I was from, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, Phoenix, and they respected that, so, you know what I'm saying? I, I think that, you know what I'm saying, this, this city about to blow, man. Yes, yeah, so, so they hear it about us out of town, huh? Exactly, they yeah, for that's, sure. that's beautiful. Um, hey, I, 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 got, I got one question real quick, man. So, do you think that like uh, like websites like 602streets.com and like southwesthiphop.com are like uh, helping like like outside labels get like a like a glimpse of what the Arizona yeah. music scene is? I mean, pretty much uh, south, southwesthiphop.com, man. They uh, um, that's that's pretty much what what, what our labels look at. There's, there's really not too much else to look at. You know what I'm saying in Arizona, so I mean that's exactly. the thing. It's, it's, you know what I'm saying it's, it's organized well. Um, I met with the I met with the dude from the firm, uh, the firm Entertainment. Uh, he's like um, based out of L.A. I think uh, a guy named Jeff, and um, pretty much he he knew about he knew about that uh, that that website. Uh, upon our conversation, and like I didn't even say nothing to him. He was saying he was checking on us, and he wasn't on it yet, and he was wondering about that. So I mean, he knows about it. He's deep in the game. He, he's a manager for uh, Snoop Dogg, DMX, and um, I'm saying several other people. So he knew about it. I'm saying so. I mean, I think oh, yeah. I think it's working. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, do you see any other artists out here in Arizona that, that you feel have commercial appeal besides from y'all self? Um, yeah, I think uh, I think of course Cutthroat Logic. You know what I'm saying I think I think they killing it right now. Um, you know what I'm saying uh, my my dude Mega Man from uh, 2220. You know what I'm saying he's I, I think he's ready. You know what I'm saying um, uh, y'all. You know what I'm saying I, I see I see y'all perform. You know what I'm saying um, so who else? Was I think? Um, Alice. I, I, I think Alice. You know what I'm saying he's pretty cool. Yeah, you know, Alice can kill him. Poker face. You know what I'm saying um, nasty boy click. You know what I'm saying they, like they yeah, they, they, they killing it. You know what I'm saying right now like around here. You know what I'm saying like in the Southwest and stuff. I mean. They can probably take it to the next level. They did movie units and stuff, so I mean, yeah, you gotta get props for props to do. Yeah. Well, you see the scene in about five years out right. here. Saying, I mean, I think I think somebody about to blow, and then you know, saying like five other people about to come right after that. You know, saying if if, if Phoenix about to be on the map big time. You know, saying we get we get respect. You know, saying like in the streets, we get respect everywhere. You know, saying like all all different. You know, saying everywhere. Phoenix is the fifth largest city exactly. in the country right now. You exactly. know what I mean? It's the largest. It's, it's I think it's the fastest growing city. In the country at the moment, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So I think I think we're gonna be on the map, you know what I'm saying? Like people people are gonna be like look, looking for you know saying music music, you know what I'm saying? And like more opportunity out of here. So Yeah. Definitely. Well, I've been seeing you guys perform at a lot of different joints, y'all got a real live set. Mm -hmm. How long have you guys been performing together as you were? Um, you know what I'm saying two years. About like, two years. Like I said when I when I first tried to get a show with T M C like we just like you know what I'm saying, like we we had we had probably about like five songs done. Mm -hmm. um, I'm saying together, like we we had some mixtapes done, but like five original songs done, and then um, probably like you know what I'm saying. So we first started rapping, and then like you know what I'm saying uh, two years ago, and like we've been doing shows, you know what I'm saying for two years. But I've also did shows, you know what I'm saying with like Anthem and the Soda Heat, you know what I'm saying. But like yeah. we just as a group, we've been doing it for two years. So. So what what do we what do we expect to see on the thirtieth April thirtieth? Thirtieth, man, you'll see a really big show. Hopefully, it's gonna be the the, the largest local show. You know what I'm saying to, to ever like you know what I'm saying happen in Phoenix, we're trying to do it like that. I only haven't seen you know what I'm saying I've, I've seen a lot of them. I'm trying to disrespect you know what I'm saying, but I'm trying to make it the best one. You know what I'm saying the largest one that ever you know what I'm saying that's ever came through here. You know what I'm saying so we're gonna have like a you know a, a, some, some nice stage props. We're gonna have of course proof you know what I'm saying from D12 and you know what I'm saying possibly some other people from D12. We know for sure we're, we're, we're gonna have some A and R's come out here. There's three A and R's for sure coming out here. We're gonna have people from the firm come watch us. Um, I mean, hopefully y'all. You know uh, we're definitely going to be covering the whole show. We're gonna we're gonna do a big like uh, photos, video, like the whole nine. You know what I mean? It's gonna be all over, and we're doing a big promotion a uh, week before the show on the website. So. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. So I mean, I think it's gonna be some real big, man. Real big. 
Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Definitely yeah, I'm up. We close up the interview. Y'all got any shouts out y'all wanna get out? Yeah, you feel me? Shouts out to Quella. You saying Cut the Logic 2220 SouthwestHipHop.com. You saying Phoenix Stand Up Power 92 FM definitely. The Nuts. You saying Squeak Boogie. Um, D12. You saying The Firm. <laughs> um, affiliated Maryville. You saying that's what's up. That's what's exactly. Up. All right, man. Hey, thanks for the interview.